In this module, we'll be taking everything that we've learned from the first module and putting it into practical use. The goal here will be to create a procedural texture splatting material, which will apply a texture to a surface, and we'll have it repeat with a simple UV tiling, and then apply random offsets and scales to each tile. Each tile could be considered a splat, because it will look as though each repeated tile had been randomly rotated and scaled and splatted on the surface. This will have the result that we won't be able to notice any obvious repetition of the texture tiling. This technique is outlined in a chapter of the book GPU Gems, which calls it texture bombing. And this chapter is available at the NVIDIA website for free. I'll give a brief overview of the process right now. And then in the next clip, we'll go ahead and start implementing the material. We start as we normally do with a set of default texture coordinates. We then multiply the UVs to get basic tiling, which results in a repeated texture. Then we'll use a floor operation to get whole integer regions. These integer values will be unique to each tile, which means that we can use it as a seed into a random value generator function. Then if we do that twice to get another set of random values, we can create random 2D offsets for each tile. So if you go back to the tiling UVs, we can make it so that instead of the UVs continually increasing and relying on the wrapping mode of the texture sampling, we can make the UVs repeat in the zero to one range in each region. This is actually a small but important step because we need each region to be the same so that when we do the splats, we can get a predictable starting point before we apply the random offset. Also, when we sample the texture in each region, we want to use the clamp texture sampling mode to clip the texture within each tile and not have it repeat. Otherwise, we'd see it repeat within its own tile. Then we actually apply the random offset, and this has the effect of offsetting the texture in the positive direction. It's also worth pointing out that because the random values are between 0 and 1, then the texture is never offsetted more than one UV tile's distance and it will never go over more than one tile away. And the reason that is important is because we can then sample each neighbor in the negative direction and use that tile's integer value to get the random offsets for that tile. This means we can find out how the neighbor tiles push their texture into the current tile. We can then sample the texture value and composite that into our final splatted texture. We can then go further and use each tile's unique random value to apply rotations and scaling to each splat. So that's the basic idea. So let's get right into it and create this directly in the material editor. 